Skygina's journey to spiritual consciousness was one that led her to the traditional tribal teachings found in the essence of Mother Nature. Being born into a loyal Christian household, she found it difficult to believe that her Christian teachings weren't actual. As she got older, she began to question those teachings and realized that Christianity was one of the many tools used to enslave her people's minds and bodies, and hence the shackles of her existence. Skygina's most sincere quest for enlightenment came with her last child's birth and being faced with the reality of her son being diagnosed with tuberculosis meningitis. It was then that she began to study herbology and engaged in the focused art of positive thought and action, speaking aloud positive words, invoking affirmations in sounds and images, using oils, trusting in the unknown, thereby dispelling what the doctors told her. Little did she realize at the time it was her spiritual guides and ancestors that held her faith and advised her every step through these traumatic times. To say the least, her son is healthy, in college, and majoring in kinesiology. This outcome spurred Skygina to explore various religions and spiritual traditions such as Islam, Rastafarian, the Black Moors, Kemetic Science, Yoruba, and Santeria. From her explorations into these different and somewhat similar walks, she embraced the African-rooted traditions and teachings of Kemeticism and variations of the Ifa traditions. During these moments of learning, she discovered the identities of her West African ancestral spiritual guides, Oshun, Oladumari, and Eshu, to which she gives all praises to their blessings of insight, courage, and the willingness to accept her spiritual gifts. As a practicing spiritualist, she is connected to the Netarisha energy and grounded in the truths of that energy, a cosmic power which raised her awareness and understanding of her life's purpose and journey. Having stepped away from westernized beliefs and into the arms of African spirituality, she realized that the collective one is the essence of all that thrives as she continues to survive in a world determined to keep her and black people forever enslaved. It should not be assumed that there were no struggles in her walk to spiritual enlightenment. She faced many obstacles, family disapprovals, rebellious children, friendships lost to ignorance, sexual bias within her circle of friends and supposed teachers. Yet she continues to walk her path of spiritual enlightenment. With this revelation, Skygina has vested her time developing her skills in holistic healing, nutrition, divination, and energy work. When connected to the people of my community, I am not alone, Skygina.